We're about to give Rika a real test. Against Gate Guardians, in fact. Something that, well, is often tough to overcome. But can the new archetype do it? Mario's gonna find out. Good luck. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna go second. Fair. Alright, we're just gonna go crazy. I also got the Dark Element stuff in here. Got all the fun things. Cheeky Terraforming, get a free Labyrinth Wall Shadow. We activate that. Now, what do I have to contend with? I completely forget what Ray can do, if I'm being honest. So, I don't know what I should do, but always just getting yourself to a Gate Guardian combined is a decent defensive choice. So, we will special summon a Sangha of the Thunder. Ooh, actually, I should have gone uh, Kazajin here, but that's okay, since I already have a Suijin. I will normal summon Elemental Hero Prisma. And that'll do Kazajin. Which, I, I have other ways of searching Kazajin here, but I do have all three pieces I need now. So, Gage Guardians combined, using you, and you, and you, and that leaves Kazajin in my graveyard for later. We can, in addition, use our Labyrinth Wall Shadow and get one of those pieces right back. So, that piece will be... Actually, I could have probably put another piece on the field if I had been smart about that, but that's okay. We have our main guy from the Banished Pile Return, Sang of the Thunder. And... I think I'm good to go. There's your challenge, Gate Guardians combined, plain and simple. What is going to overcome it? Let's see... So gate guarding of mine, you can stop monster effects up to three times, right? Just targeting effects. So your effects can keep going. Just don't try to mess okay. with me or you'll regret it. I like gate guardians for that reason. Because it's, you know, negation. You can protect yourself, but it's not like stop your opponent from playing effects. Fits real good in what we try to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Alright, so I activate by banishing... My Rika, no Yorkie. To bring out. He's not a Yorkie. Calm down. <laughs> Someone will try to say, oh, I want to pet that dog. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's kind of a dog. Sure. If I send any of that. It's in there. Oh, did not want to activate that effect. Oh, no. Oh. Well, here's Gate Guardian. I get super poly you off, but I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> Back super poly. Oh gosh. It's because I can use it because I can use it for my own monsters too. That's Fair why. enough. But I get the special summon by returning the banished monster back to the deck. My Rika. Yeah. Then I'll just normal you. summon you. You're right, Takage. Let's see. All right. All right, using both of these two, bring out the Rika. Mushadokuru. They're all Rika. You can't just say Rika and act like it's the name of the card. Okay, okay. Yeah, I ain't get, letting you get away with this. You actually watch anime. You should know how to say these words. Rika no Mushadokuru. Yeah, look, you had the inflection on the R and everything. You're good. Oi. Okay. Uh, let's see, you can target one Rika monster in your graveyard, special summon in the defense position. If this card is in your defense, what can I activate right now? Oh. I don't want to activate something that's going to target you right now. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That would be bad. Here he goes. Oh, I can special summon a second monster. Okay. Yeah, I think you're just building up your material again. So you got a reptile and an insect back on the field. That's fun, using yeah. some of the underappreciated types in Yu-Gi-Oh! and putting them together. Obviously, there yeah, are in insect decks and some reptile decks, but... Uh, Gives them a nice little I guess, home. I guess the best thing I can do is, yeah, so, using uh, Raika no Musha Dokuro and my Raika no Yuri, Yorio Tokage. I'll bring out the Raika no Uzumoshi. Ooh, Ugami no Shui. <laughs> That's a fun word. Mm -hmm. This allows me to banish one of my monsters. I'll banish two cards. 
Mm -hmm. In and order Riker to trap. place a Riker trap straight to the hand. Very nice. Which I'll set down. Then I can try to bring out the link four, but I think, yeah, I think I can go straight to the link five if I activate my monster by sending away. Yes, because I keep bringing myself out. Now, I think you could have potentially um, brought out the Link 4 and then brought out the Link 3 after that, right? I think we... No. No? no that, okay. the, the Link 4 is just the one that if you activate a monster effect, you cannot activate cards from your hand for the rest of the turn. That's okay. the negate one. Gotcha. That one, was, that one wasn't going to yield me another monster, sadly. Okay, fair enough. I just thought you could uh, climb and then bring the lower ones out with most of them. But yeah, here's your Link 5. Just like that. Reka no Dayuga. Okay. Let's see. Dayuga's on the field. And if Unfortunately, anything is I don't. From my extra deck, you can destroy two monsters. Oh, no. Well, it just says you can destroy. It doesn't say target. Yeah, and unfortunately, he doesn't have the power to kill you. No. But I'll goof around and see what this is. Yeah, it looks like I could just attack into you and have an easy time, but we're going to mess around and see what you can do. So, Labyrinth Wall Shadow, activate. Oh, is it trap time already? Yeah, yes, I'll activate it. All so, right. it says uh, it says you when you're targeted, so... <laughs> Yikes. Right? Don't, 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 By monster or card effects? Anything, I think. Just targeting. Yeah. So, in good faith, I will, uh, you know, negate that. Um, anyway, moving on. Banished. Boom. You're on the field now. Um, now we have all three to bring out another Gate Guardian combined. Or we could do Water and Thunder, which could bring your attack to zero. Lots of fun. Good stuff. I will activate Shadow Glow of the Labyrinth. Um, have another one of those in Graveyard. Have another one of these in hand. Can use multiple in a turn. Good fun. But I do not require that at the moment. And we will special summon. Yeah, sure, we'll go Water Thunder. That's fun. So I'm special summoning from the extra deck here. Trying to trigger out whatever you're doing. Now I want to see if you can uh, use your effect. So you get to destroy two monsters on the field. Fantastic if it works. I will also do this just to do it. But... Yes, does not target. Ooh. That's what I but thought you would happen. you do get to bring out two Yeah, monsters, I'm still but... in a winning position here, but it is it is a good convenient thing that you don't have to target because so much of Yu-Gi-Oh! stops targeting. So out comes uh, Song of Thunder, and then we're in a fantastic attacking position right now as it is. So I think it's uh, Thunder and Wind is my searcher. Yes, it is. We're going to search another wonderful card. Activate. What shall I add to my hand? We have a dark element. A double attack could be fun. Um, could we just target destroy you? We can, but you have zero attack points, so is there a big point in doing that? No, but it's a big defensive play for me to grab a target destroy and have it at the ready. So I may do just that. Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll grab the wind and thunder. Because we're going to be winning on life points in a moment, so there's nothing too cheeky we can do. And, oh, maybe I can actually go for the win right here. Dark Element, spend all those life points. So, I could have actually searched the other card, but that's okay. Special summoning. Dark Guardian. And that, I can add one of the banished cards from my deck to hand. Why not? Get that back. So, add you. I think I used my Wall Shadow bright and early. Yes, I did. So, we'll just set a card right here. Um, what else can I go into with this deck? Just another Gate Guardians combined. So don't think there's a need for any of that nonsense right there. Um, I don't think I need it for the damage win. So we will attack with our Dark Guardian right into your Rakano Dioga. Do an easy life point damage and then yeah, just uh, numbers after that. I don't think you can bounce back even if I didn't have all the attacks to break you. But it's good to see that your level uh, 5 can get around, um, you know protected monsters a little easier that's one of those valuable things in Yu-Gi-Oh. yeah i don't know if there's any card in my deck that increases power yeah it's say. still a hard matchup for you no denying that i will probably try to set up the same field 
We're gonna use terraforming, labyrinth wall shadow. Um, well, we're gonna use our shadow ghoul, labyrinth wall shadow. Make sure you get your field card. It's always nice to have. We will activate it. And we're actually gonna burn ourselves pretty good right here by using hero lives. But that gets us our elemental hero prisma. Is it necessary in the deck? Kinda, actually. Sure, you don't need it, but you can get free pieces like this. Sangha, and that's just not one piece, but two free pieces. We'll then activate Labyrinth Wall Shadow and get the final piece we need, Suijin. So there's two things we can do right now. Since we got two on the field, we could go Water and Thunder, which can, you know, drop your attacks to zero, which is good. But Gate Guardian combined seems to be critical against you, and I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't set you up with the proper field that you have to combat against. Let's actually keep that guy in the graveyard, get rid of the Prisma. You and you. Boop. Oh, actually, I wanted to put him elsewhere, but that's okay. I was just going to goof around. We'll set this card right here, and I think we'll just wait right there. End of turn. Alright. So, let's start off by playing off the Allure of Darkness. Yes. And I'll say, like, if you draw your, um... Super poly, and it's not going into a mud dragon or you know, preta plan anything, then go for it. All right, or the other one, you know, the it's ones. mostly preta plan monsters, that's why. Yeah, it's not uh, like let's... the counter preta plant one. Activate, send to the graveyard, also that one. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Is in one monster in hand. Try to plant from the deck. All right, let's. Activate the effect of my Rika. Ooh. My Rika spell card. Yep, Kuriyasaki. Remember that being a pretty good card. Special summons your banished Rika monsters, real nice. Okay. Looks like Adding starting is troubling plank. you a little more to start. Not, uh, yeah. Luckily, the spell card does get me the monster I need. Perfect. And then by discarding a card, bring out the plant. The plant. Marikube. Rika, and, yeah, Marikube. Allows me to add to my hand the Yahuza Kam Kamikari. So I can get the other two monsters. Basically, you want to start off the plant. Yeah, and then you can chain it together. I know the links kind of chain climb very nicely. All right. Special summon by placing that banished <coughs> monster back into your deck. So you got two pieces on the field. Oh, that's right. You're losing power right now, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, I just lose 300. I don't think it stacks or anything, but... And I wish that helps. It did. And you also gain 300, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, so. so that, you know, makes up 600 of the challenge to get over Gate Guardian combined. Still means you gotta get something out with 3,200 to beat it. But that's a lot more obtainable than 3,700. Okay. Pieces moving. Link's climbing. And then using the Link... Three Ooh, to go into my Reich. Of course, activating the effect, banishing one of my cards, or two of them, I should say. Yep. To Which you have plenty of to spend. To get the trap right to the hand. Mm -hmm. Then using the say basically same play as before. Yep. My Reich, my card in order to get. The Musha Dakuro right back out. Yep. To get out the Link 5 back out. Alright, now I've looked at your effect, but I'm going to do something to, to test you right here. Prey of the Jirai Gumo. That was, a, that was not a very good test Un in your favor, was it? <laughs> no, because I have to put Link monsters in there, so it's not like I could have put it anywhere else to use. Well, no, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying, like, you don't have a way to protect yourself if, you know, a regular target destroy happens. So. Nope. Yeah. yeah you do the destroying with uh, Dioga. 
And I... Well, we'll see. I don't think you can climb again after that, but... Ah, darn it. Okay, no. so it looks like Gate Guardians are probably too hard of a counter for uh, this deck in particular. But maybe I can grab something else to give him a, a little more reasonable test. Any requests... Uh, not that I can think of right now. It would have been a good test for me to test to see if uh, if the super poly worked against you pretty well. If it still triggers like your, if it still triggers like you're bringing out the other fusion monsters out or not. Yeah, true. I Fred mean, super poly should get around it. Like if someone's running super poly like with the uh, you know, three dark monster predator plant just to counter, then yeah, it would work against gate guardians combined. Everyone that uses it probably packs that in their deck, and it would certainly make sense. Um, but here we can just kind of start stacking these cards back here. And we actually have three copies of our wall shadow, so all the cards get to come back. And of course, we can then play whatever we want. Um, we can do another Gate Guardians combined. In this current position where I'm lacking on life points, I'm going to do the Searcher. Which can... Well, negating your spell effects would be wonderful as well. But we will be using Thunder and Wind by using Thunder and Wind. Doing this. Activating said monster. Searching my rear Yoku Guardian. Activating it. Targeting my combined. And juicing up his attack points significantly. Um, I guess for funsies, we can also activate it here. And I don't even know who I want back out here. We'll do... Oh, yeah, he doesn't go to the field. Never mind, never mind. I don't think I got anyone else. We're good. Uh, battle. Just not beat the dead horse. And, yeah, big power. Okay, so let me grab a different deck so you can get a different kind of test, see how it flies. Okay. Old school Dark Magician, well not even old school, just um, a Dark Magician girl focus against Eureka. I, would you like to go first or second? I guess I'll, I'll go second. Excellent yeah. choice. I'll go first. Um, we have a Dark Magician to open up with. We'll activate the Salvation. Level 8. Oh. Yeah, the Salvation, you know we get that Eternal Soul bare minimum. And we're going to be activating Magician Soul to do a little something extra. In fact, we can do a lot of stuff here. Jeez, we are going to activate Magician Soul. We're going to send Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. And then summon it. Special summon, Dark Magician Girl. Welcome to the field. And I suppose I'm going to wait on this and just chill. Yeah. And my turn. Good to go, all you. All right. So nothing scary right here. No magician circle. Uh, technically, yes, I could have got magician circle, but we'll play a little patient game, see how it goes. Give you a chance. Rika, no Marukube. Mm -hmm. Adding to the hand the spell card and the insect, uh, Yahuza Kamakari. Very nice. <coughs> allergic to bugs or insects? Or reptiles? Both. I wonder if I'm allergic to reptiles. I'm allergic to everything. You know, yeah, you're allergic to a lot of things from what I call. Yeah. Alright, Kamikiri. Very good. Activate. So make up that power deficit rather nicely. Uh, let's see. Special summon one that is in the graveyard. Okay, so I guess I'll special summon the one that's currently in the graveyard right now. Sure. Out comes Yori Takage. Yori to Cage. Alright, so this time there is nothing protecting you, so I am just gonna target your monster and get rid of it. Lovely. We'll let that fly. Oh, to the hand? Yikes. Didn't know that was happening. Same. <laughs> <laughs> New decks, everybody. <laughs> Activate, returning the uh, reptile back to the field. Lovely. Then, go into... 
go into the Lincoln Monster using Raika no Ogamushi. Ogamanushi. 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 Special summoning back out. The plants. Yep. There's the Marakube. There's some fives. Banishing these two. He's getting extras. Oh, the trap. Maybe you can do a little more against this deck. In fact, I think you'll do significantly more against this deck. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. Very good. Takuro comes back out. And let's see. You know what? As much as I think it would be more beneficial you don't do the extra deck that much with this deck, so what I'm going to do Not instead Not as is... much. My extra deck plays are huge, but I don't have to depend on them. So instead, I'm going to do this. Okay. When your opponent activates a monster effect, neither player can activate effects in the hand for the rest of the turn. Oh, I do have a hand effect on me right now. Okay. Who's attacking? Dekoro? Yeah, Dekoro is. All right. We'll flip this all up. Get Luckily, no dark out. magic circle. Nope. I decided to be courteous and not do that immediately. Oh, so you could have. I could have, but I don't know if like I would have gone much further after that. I could have. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could have set myself up fine with that. All is well, though. Yeah, fun fact. Since you sent my dark magician girl to the graveyard, it didn't come out for free when I wanted it to there. So good stuff. I will uh, discard the Dark Magician Girl so it's at least in the graveyard now. And summon Apprentice Illusion Magician. Which can give me another Dark Magician to the hand. Why not? Alright, so I will activate the effect of the trap. Okay. Which will negate the effects of... No, it destroys. That's huge. Uh, is there any point of activating Eternal Soul right now? Honestly, I don't think so. Now, I'll be getting a Dark Magician in my hand. Um, when I lose my Eternal Soul, destroys all monsters I control, and I don't have any means of protecting them, and I don't have any benefits of using it right now. So that's huge. Yeah, as I thought, targeting and destroying Eternal Soul, always good. So I and then, well. since you're activating a card effect, I activate the effect of the Rika, which means for the rest of the turn... <sighs> that's a, a, The card effect I'm activated is all my monsters get destroyed. That's not cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? Meaning that you can't activate any cards that affects that activate from the hand. Very good. No Kiwi Magician Girl coming into play. So we're a little desperate right here. We need to Soul Servant and place a card to the top of the deck. We could do Illusion of Chaos and kind of, you know, shift some pieces around, get some more stuff. Obviously, we can go for a Magician's Rod and get ourselves a Dark Magic Circle, which in this desperate position seems to be the play. Um, yeah, I don't have an immediate means of summoning, or I can summon a Dark Magician and then get Dark Magician Girl out, but since I don't have Circle or the Eternal Soul, it's not as beneficial as it would be. So, yeah, we're just going to go for Circle, your favorite. And let's draw it. Um, ooh, Magician Bonds and Unity, what a fun deck we're playing. Okay, so out comes the Circle. I believe you've already used your all targeting destroy effects. Um, oh, I cannot bring that card to my hand. So, we got nothing. Well done. You got me. And I think you can stack up enough attack to finish the game here. I believe I can. I'm going to set down this card just in case. Yep. I'm going to activate Allure Darkness to see what yep. I get. Why not? Uh, ooh, okay. New card. Ooh, he plays. Here we go. Sort of. Uh, let's see. I am going to activate my second one just to get rid of your two more cards on the field. Yeah, huge. That seals the deal for you now. Even I if I get stuff next turn, you're set. Yeah, the Dark Magic Circle, you know I hate that card. Now. Yeah, you know it was it. really a gamble seeing if I could get a means of summoning a Dark Magician on either of our turns I would have been happy with. But... You have the potential to miss with Dark Magic Circle. It is what it is. There we go. And using my Rika. 
Yeah, and you can just bring out the links just by cost of any one individual monster and set up all their effects. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And then using these two come out with the Rika no Dukujko. Now, do you get locked into those specific types of monsters you're using while you the do this? The three types, yes. Okay. Three. Thank goodness, because imagine how much this could be abused with Link Spam decks. By getting like just free link threes and twos and fours onto the field, that would be it. Crazy. It'd be crazy, yeah. But this is this is good balance. It's a deck that performs under its own weight, um, how it's meant to do very well. What it seems like. So good stuff. And do you have that attack? Yeah. There you go. You beat Dark Magicians. One less thing to complain about, right? <laughs> yeah, but you did state that this isn't in your most powerful version. Yes, but you did beat Dark Magicians, right? Sure, I didn't put a circle out in the first turn, and I didn't, you know, get anything from the circle when I did it, but you beat them! Good job! I feel so def- I feel <laughs> victory, but also defeat at the same time. <laughs> Just playing against Dark Magicians will make you feel that. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, Make sure to leave a like on the video. Let us know who you want Riker to fight against and any other little mixes you won't think you'd like to add into the deck. Keep in mind, yeah, you do get locked into plant, reptile, and insect. So there's probably some fun mixes, but it can't go too crazy. Subscribe so you see that video when it comes, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.